We now have the mayor of Surfside here, Florida. Uh, Charles Burkett is, is with us, and we'll each ask you questions. Mayor, can you hear us? Yes, I can. So my first question for you uh, has to do with what is going on right now. You know, we, we understand that the rescue efforts are underway, but that's been really complicated with weather in and out. Just bring us up to speed. Well, we, we got the call at about 2 o'clock this morning, and we came out, and we've got a building, a modern building that just collapsed. A large modern building, a 12-story, 130-unit condominium on the ocean that just collapsed. It looks like there was an earthquake. It's inexplicable, and we're all scratching our heads trying to figure out what the problem is. They were doing air conditioning work on the top, mm -hmm. but uh, that is, that's an everyday occurrence. So we've got a, uh, a tragedy here that's, that's beyond any of our imagination. You know, we've got, we got uh, 15 families out this morning in the middle of the night, and we've got them up at our community center. But we've got a third or more of the building that's collapsed like a pancake. Yeah. And I don't even want to think about uh, what we're going to find in mm -hmm. that area. Mayor, uh, I'm curious, when you say 15 families got out, were people in those upper floors able to get out on their own, or has this been a rescue effort yeah, they, from the they beginning? they walked out on their own. There was they, Apparently, they couldn't get out through the lobby because it was blocked, but they were able to get out, I believe, on the second floor at the pool deck. Uh, ten, ten people were treated, and two were sent to the hospital. Unfortunately, one passed away. Mm -hmm. Now, and then I think a little bit later on, and I wasn't, I didn't see that, but uh, we had that little boy that was found. Yeah, which was a little bit of good news. Yeah, I mean, he, as Kaylee was saying, he had his little hand sticking out, and and people, a bystander was interviewed by one of our reporters down there, and the bystander said that that he could hear it sounded like a little boy's voice and that's exactly I what it was that. and the boy was asking please don't leave me mm. go ahead I Mary. Saw that. I, I, heartbreaking yeah emily heartbreaking. Mm. but we've got i mean we've got you can't believe the uh the amazing response we've had from uh day county and and all our municipalities around little surfside um this there's a command center set up here We've got experts, we've got the dogs, we've got the engineers. Uh, and you have the governor the coming. The, You've got Governor got DeSantis governor. coming. He's coming, in about, uh, he's coming in about 15 minutes. I believe I'm going to meet with him. Mm -hmm. uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz has been very uh, helpful. She's, the White House has called. They're working on, uh, on some ideas to, to help us. So it seems like everybody is really pitching in. Yeah. Mayor, this is Emily yep. Campagno. Can you give us a little bit of insight into the actual numbers of all of those amazing experts and those participating in the rescue efforts underway here? How many dogs, how many search and rescue members and fire departments and the like? So we sort of have a, a, an ability to grasp well, the magnitude I, of the response you, there, deployed there is right now. There's no shortage of people here to help. And uh, I mean, as I look around, we've got fire trucks, rescue trucks all kinds of uh, high-tech equipment up and down the street. And uh, if something needs to be done, it's done. Uh, light last night, it was a little tough because we needed light and we needed lots of resources, but they poured in. Um, mayor Cava, the, uh, the county mayor, mm -hmm. did an awesome job. Uh, Dade County Fire Department did an awesome job. And like I said, all the municipalities, it's just amazing. It's really amazing. Mayor Burkett, uh, Kelly McEnany here. Um, two quick questions for you. You mentioned earlier that there was some concern about the other portion of the building collapsing. Uh, just want to follow up on that and ensure that our first responders are taking all necessary precautions. Additionally, uh, would love to hear more about what the White House offered. I assume the support of NTSB and the federal government's uh, full force. Well, it, with respect to the first question, um, we're I, I think everybody's assuming that the building is not structurally sound at this point and acting accordingly. But having said that, these these fire guys and these uh, search and rescue guys literally went into the building knowing it could collapse and, and were seeking out people who needed help and needed to be escorted out. And I think they got a few people out like that, the people that actually didn't come out on their own or were sleeping or were 
otherwise incapacitated were, were helped out. So mm. it, it's, uh, there's been some amazing heroism here mm. in Surfside. But, you know, that doesn't diminish the fact that we're suffering very badly. I mean, the worst is yet to come, I fear, because mm. we've got uh, at least half of the building back there that is pancaked. It's collapsed onto itself. And you've got balconies that were once 10 or 12 feet apart. They're now two feet apart on wow. top of each other. And you can imagine what that means. Mayor Burkett, uh, we are getting a better description from you now than we have had all morning long. They, they moved reporters back. The perimeter that we could report in was uh, moved back by a block. So it's harder to yeah. see. You're, you're first person there, and you're also familiar with what was in that building. I, I'm really curious to know... When you say half the building, I mean, that is a, a, a bigger portion than we were told, and it makes these pictures make sense. No, no, it, 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 you know, there's, a, uh, there's a, a clip that's going around right now, and I can get that to your, your person if they need it. But it, and I've, it, it's in slow motion, and it, it, it's almost like a timed demolition. It's, it's the most upsetting thing you're going to see. And it is, there's a huge portion of that building in the rear, of course, that's where the, the biggest part was because that's where the ocean is. And uh, it mm. just all came down. Mm. One part came down first, and then the other part stood up there for a few seconds, and then that came down. Yeah. We, we showed that video last hour on the Faulkner Focus, and I'm going to ask our team here on Outnumber to roll it as soon as we can so that people yeah. can see no, that. Because you're right. I mean, it, it looks like somebody... It, it's not unlike what happened just in New York it over. in 2001. It's, it's pretty... Oh, say that again. It's not unlike what happened in New York in 2001. I mean, wow. these, these buildings oh, just came wow. down on top of themselves. They didn't fall over. They didn't do anything except just come straight down. Yeah. A lot of investigation of, uh, about, you said, you mentioned, and no connective tissue here between, that we know of yet investigative-wise, the, the no, work that I was going on on top. To, and uh, then I understand next door <laughs> they were doing some construction, major construction, too. They were yeah, talking about yeah, they, potential cracks brand new building and walls. Is there anything to that? I'm actually standing next to it, and yeah, I think there is. I think that uh, there was lots of pounding and pilings going in because mm. that's what happens when you build a new building. Yes. Um, but then again, you know that happens all the way. That happens all the time up and down the coast. They build new buildings next to old buildings, and you don't have buildings falling down. So, I think we really need to get in there. And first, we need to save as many people as we can, which is Amen. exactly what's going on right now. But uh, once that task is finished, we really need to find out what happened here. And, Mayor, notwithstanding, again, that obviously first priority is, the, is triage of accounting for those who are unaccounted for at this point. But ha has there been any conversation yet about the developer of this, are there any buildings that now you are considering in potential harm's way that might be following in this tragic wake of this building's collapse that you're now looking to well, potentially I, evacuate I mean, it, or bolster such, physically? It's such a mental stretch to go there, but we can't rule it out. I think there is a sister building. I don't think. I know there's a sister building one block north, because this, this is Champlain South, and there is a Champlain North. It's identical. Mm. So, I mean, that, you know, that begs the question. Uh, I, I'm sure we're going to be getting in there right away and take a hard look at that building. But uh, it's hard to believe there could be any connection. Mayor Burkett, jumping back in, uh, just following up on the conversation with the White House, I, I assume they're offering the full support of the federal government, of course, Governor Ron DeSantis on the way, uh, with the full support of Florida as well. Governor DeSantis has been amazing. His office has been amazing. You know, there's, it, it, you know, the, the staff out here is, it, 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 it seems like overkill, but I'm sure it's not because you need these kinds of resources if you need them. And we want to make sure that the guys in the building have every resource they need. And uh, therefore, I think that's why we've got, you know, the resources out here that we do, because it's, mm -hmm. you can't believe it. You cannot believe what Dade County has done here. It's just amazing. So and real we quickly, thank them for that. before we let you go, Mayor Burkett of Surfside, Florida, uh, we are curious to know if we'll hear updated numbers in the news conference, because we've been told well, to brace and, expre to and expect that. Our, our challenge is, is that you know, 
we, there's no log of the owners going in and out of the building, only guests. So, oh. you know, we don't know. No cameras. Well, you can't get to the cameras. So, I'm sorry? Yeah, you can't even get to the cameras unless they'd be exterior. Well, it's just not the cameras, but it, it's the count. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's a lobby. There are people down in the lobby that escort people in and out. But we just don't know who was in the unit and who wasn't. And what's happening is there's a central number that, that relatives can call. We have it on the screen. And that's how we're going to find out because they're calling to look for their relatives and find out if they're okay. Yeah, and, and I've been asking people to please pay attention to that number at the bottom of the screen, the Family Reunification Hotline. Absolutely. That's going to help us. That's going to help us find out who's missing and who's not. Right. We will see you live with Governor Ron DeSantis uh, as soon as you have your meeting with him and you hold that news conference down there to even bring the story more in focus for us and, and to really show us what's what's happening there uh, on the ground. Um, our prayers Absolutely. are with the well, family. I need to get back there over to the building. I know you do. I know you do. Information. Prayers with the families and the residents in that, but also the, the first responders, because as you said, Mayor Burkett, as they discover things, uh, it's going to be tough going, and we hope for the best. No, Thank you for your it's time. It's going to be awful. It's going to be awful, and uh, this is a grisly business, and you know we're not looking forward to it.